I'm Jay Rainville. Let's break down some comedy. We're going to look at some Louis C.K. I was uh, walking past a, uh, uh, a, 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 like a yoga spinning Premise. fucking people yoga. place. Yoga people. And the door was open, and I look inside, and this teacher, this guy's standing in front of a class, and he's just going like this. And he's going, come on, come on, come on, do it, come on. And everybody, all strangers that don't know each other are going like this. And he's going, come on. Okay, so... We have a few kind of like joke structures or, or laugh triggers here. One is superiority, right? We feel support, superior as the audience to the yoga people. He's pointing out the absurdity of the stuff that they do. Um, and also simple truth. He's just saying what they're doing, which is funny in and of itself, right? Air humping. Come on, come on, all right, come on. And I thought, what fucking power this guy has. I wish I had that power over people. Even without the conceit of a class, wouldn't it be great to be able to do that? Like in an airport, a bunch of people waiting at a gate for a plane. It's like, come on. So now he's doing right. And this is a thing that a lot of comics do, which is if it's true in this scenario, what would happen if it was true in another scenario? What if, if somebody behaved the same way in a different situation or, or it, not taking this example, if another person did the same thing, uh, and then you apply that and then you get an incongruity. So he's taking the yoga class to the airport. So let's see what happens. Come on! Come on, everybody do this! Oh my God, oh fuck, all right, Jesus. Why am I gonna have to do this? Bullshit, I'm late and I gotta fucking do this. Come on, you two, come on! 